names come from? Don't worry about it. It's not important. You know, for someone that looks like a poop emoji, you do a pretty good job making these videos. If we take What in Mama Luigi's name was that? I've seen better quality from the Shrek movie on the GBA. Hey Goomba. Glad to see you feel the same way I do about that video. In my defense, it was made and edited on a phone, and I think I've grown a lot as a YouTuber. With that said, wanna redo that interview? Okay, uh, just promise me that you won't use the background from the Eric Andre show again. Uh, <laughs> roll the intro. <laughs> Over the years watching YouTube, I've seen creators come and go, be born, rise to fame, and get cancelled and fall into shame and obscurity. However, despite the rise and fall of YouTube over the years, one individual has been staying consistent and drama free, giving us the quality we deserve. That's right ladies and gentlemen, he's snarky and smart, has a big heart, spits hot takes like a venomous snake. Some love him, some hate him. Some say he could get a cease and desist from Nintendo at any moment. My fellow gamers, I bring to you... Lonely Goomba! Drop on in! Oh boy, not again. Hey, and thanks to my patrons by the way, we can now animate him speaking. Thanks for inviting me to the show, Tate. Um, what did you want? Well, Goomba, today we're going to ask you some questions. Our first being, why did you start your YouTube channel? Well, not sure if you heard, but I'm stuck between two pipes. There ain't really much to do here, you know. You can look at a cloud, or a pipe, or another pipe, so uh, it's either that, or make a YouTube channel, you know. So I thought I'd give it a shot and see where it goes. And it did alright. Just don't ask me how I got the camera, or the equipment, or where the games come from. Don't worry about it, it's not important. I suppose that's one way to be productive considering your circumstances. And I guess I'll skip the part about the coin laundering scheme you've been operating in the background. <sighs> if we take a glance at your channel, you seem to put out a video roughly every month and rack up a decent amount of views gaining pretty good attention within the YouTube community. That brings us to our next question. What do you think of your channel? Would you call yourself an influencer, and what motivates you to keep creating stuff? Mate, have you seen my channel lately? It's dead! Oh, I'm alone. I hate this channel. The only people I'm influencing are a few unfortunate souls who stumble upon it by mistake. Having said that, my Twitter is doing pretty well, so uh, I guess there's that. As for inspiration, I have one word. Money. Well, at least he's honest. You know Goomba, I will admit, while your channel isn't groundbreaking or crazy like other popular ones out there, what you do provide is consistent quality everyone can enjoy. Alright Goomba, now before we get into our last question, many of us know you're British, so I want to ask you a trick question. Do you prefer miles or kilometers? What kind of question is that? It's gotta be miles. He's a nice little fox who didn't do nothing to nobody. Did you- Thank you for avoiding the question. Now, before we send you off back to 1-1, one, one, any remarks you'd like to make about me or the channel? And I know you like foxes. Well, Goomba, it was a pleasure having you here for this short little interview. Thank you for stopping by and thank you, audience, for watching. Yes, yes, I'll be here all night. And I'll see you in the next video. And with that, you're out of here. Sayonara, Goomba.